control tables are tables that control the control flow or play a major part in program control. There are no rigid rules about the structure or content of a control table. Its qualifying attribute is its ability to direct control flow in some way through execution by a processor or interpreter. The design of such tables is sometimes referred to as table-driven design. In some cases, control tables can be specific implementations of finite state machine-based automata-based programming. If there are several hierarchical levels of control table they may behave in a manner equivalent to UML state machines. Control tables often have the equivalent of conditional expressions or function references embedded in them, usually implied by their relative column position in the association list. Control tables reduce the need for programming similar structures or program statements over and over again. The two-dimensional nature of most tables makes them easier to view and update than the one-dimensional nature of program code. In some cases, non-programmers can be assigned to maintain the control tables. Typical usage transformation of input values to an index for later branching or point lookup a program name relative subroutine number program label or program offset to alter control flow controlling a main loop in event driven programming using a control variable for state transitions controlling the program cycle for online transaction processing applications more advanced usage acting as virtual instructions for a virtual machine processed by an interpreter, similar to bytecode, but usually with operations implied by the table structure itself. Table structure The tables can have multiple dimensions, of fixed or variable lengths and are usually portable between computer platforms, requiring only a change to the interpreter not the algorithm itself, the logic of which is essentially embodied within the table structure and content. The structure of the table may be similar to a multi-map associative array, where a data value may be mapped to one or more functions to be performed. One-dimensional tables in perhaps its simplest implementation, a control table may sometimes be a one-dimensional table for directly translating a raw data value to a corresponding subroutine offset index or pointer using the raw data value either directly as the index to the array or by performing some basic arithmetic on the data beforehand. This can be achieved in constant time. In most architectures, this can be accomplished in two or three machine instructions without any comparisons or loops. The technique is known as a trivial hash function or, when used specifically for branch tables, double dispatch. For this to be feasible, the range of all possible values of the data needs to be small. Table to translate raw ASCII values to new subroutine index in constant time using one-dimensional array in automata-based programming in pseudo-conversational transaction processing. If the number of distinct program states is small, a dense sequence control variable can be used to efficiently dictate the entire flow of the main program loop. A 2-byte raw data value would require a minimum table size of 65,534 bytes to handle all input possibilities, whilst allowing just 256 different output values. However, this direct translation technique provides an extremely fast validation and conversion to a subroutine pointer if the heuristics together with sufficient fast access memory, permits its use. Branch tables A branch table is a one-dimensional array of contiguous machine code branch jump instructions to affect a multi-way branch to a program label when branched into by an immediately preceding and index branch. It is sometimes generated by an optimizing compiler to execute a switch statement, provided that the input range is small and dense, with few gaps. Although quite compact, compared to the multiple equivalent if statements, the branch instructions still carry some redundancy. Since the branch opcode and condition code mask are repeated alongside the branch offsets, 
control tables containing only the offsets to the program labels can be constructed to overcome this redundancy and yet requiring only minor execution time overhead compared to a conventional branch table. Multidimensional tables more usually a control table can be thought of as a truth table or as an executable implementation of a printed decision table. They contain propositions, together with one or more associated actions. These actions are usually performed by generic or custom-built subroutines that are called by an interpreter program. The interpreter in this instance effectively functions as a virtual machine that executes the control table entries and thus provides a higher level of abstraction than the underlying code of the interpreter. A control table can be constructed along similar lines to a language-dependent switch statement but with the added possibility of testing for combinations of input values and potentially calling multiple subroutines. The control table concept, by comparison, has no intrinsic language dependencies, but might nevertheless be implemented differently according to the available data definition features of the chosen programming language table. Content A control table essentially embodies the essence of a conventional program, stripped of its programming language syntax and platform-dependent components and condensed to its variables, values and subroutine identities. The structure of the table itself typically implies the logical operations involved, such as testing for equality, performing a subroutine and next operation, or following the default sequence. A multidimensional control table will normally, as a minimum, contain value, action pairs and may additionally contain operators and type information such as the location, size and format of input or output data. Whether data conversion is required before or after processing, the table may or may not contain indexes or relative or absolute pointers to generic or customized primitives or subroutines to be executed depending upon other values in that row. The table illustrated below applies only to input 1, since no specific input is specified in the table. Conditions and actions implied by structure the asynchronous nature of the event itself, the variety of values that can be encoded within a control table is largely dependent upon the computer language used. Assembly language provides the widest scope for data types including the option of directly executable machine code. Typically a control table will contain values for each possible matching class of input together with a corresponding pointer to an action, subroutine. Some languages claim not to support pointers but nevertheless can instead support an index which can be used to represent a relative subroutine number to perform conditional execution, controlled by the value in the table entry. Comments positioned above each column can render a decision table human-readable, even after condensing down to its essentials. The table entries can also optionally contain counters to collect runtime statistics for in-flight or later optimization table location. Control tables can reside in static storage, on auxiliary storage such as a flat file or on a database or may alternatively be partially or entirely built dynamically at program initialization time from parameters. For optimum efficiency, the table should be memory resident when the interpreter begins to use it. The interpreter and subroutines the interpreter can be written in any suitable programming language including a high-level language, a suitably designed generic interpreter, together with a well-chosen set of generic subroutines, would require additional conventional coding only for new custom subroutines. The interpreter, optionally, may only apply to some well-defined sections of a complete application program and not other, less conditional, sections. The interpreter does not need to be unduly complex or produced by a programmer with the advanced knowledge of a compiler writer and can be written just as any other application program except that it is usually designed with efficiency in mind. Its primary function is to execute the table entries as a set of instructions. 
There need be no requirement for parsing of control table entries and these should therefore be designed, as far as possible, to be execution ready, requiring only the plugging in of variables from the appropriate columns to the already compiled generic code of the interpreter. The program instructions are, in theory, infinitely extensible and constitute values within the table that are meaningful only to the interpreter. The control flow of the interpreter is normally by sequential processing of each table row but may be modified by specific actions in the table entries. These arbitrary values can thus be designed with efficiency in mind, by selecting values that can be used as direct indexes to data or function pointers. For particular platforms, language, they can be specifically designed to minimize instruction path lengths using branch table values or even, in some cases such as in JIT compilers, consist of directly executable machine code snippets. The subroutines may be coded either in the same language as the interpreter itself or any other supported program language. The choice of language for the interpreter and or subroutines will usually depend upon how portable it needs to be across various platforms. There may be several versions of the interpreter to enhance the portability of a control table. A subordinate control table pointer may optionally substitute for a subroutine pointer in the action column if the interpreter supports this. Construct, representing a conditional drop to a lower logical level, mimicking a conventional structured program structure. Performance considerations. At first sight, the use of control tables would appear to add quite a lot to a program's overhead, requiring, as it does, an interpretive process before the native programming language statements are executed. This however is not always the case. By separating the executable coding from the logic, as expressed in the table, it can be more readily targeted to perform its function most efficiently. This may be experienced most obviously in a spreadsheet application, where the underlying spreadsheet software transparently converts complex logical formulae in the most efficient manner it is able, in order to display its results. The examples below have been chosen partly to illustrate potential performance gains that may not only compensate significantly for the additional tier of abstraction, but also improve upon what otherwise might have been less efficient, less maintainable and lengthier code. Although the examples given are for a low-level assembly language and for the C language, it can be seen in both cases that very few lines of code are required to implement the control table approach and yet can achieve very significant constant time performance, improvements, reduce repetitive source coding and aid clarity, as compared with verbose conventional program language constructs. See also the quotations by Donald Nuth concerning tables and the efficiency of multi-way branching in this article.